I'm Jason with LNF Services, and today we're out here installing a 16 sear two stage system. And the two stage part is pretty important because there are a couple of different ways to wire these systems up. And the way that you've probably seen and we've been doing for decades is wiring what we call legacy. These systems come with a block to allow you to wire up how you would normally wire a system that's either single stage or two stage or whatever the case may be. But for these systems to get the full benefit of the two stage system, when you have a comfort bridge setup, you really don't need to wire these legacy. You need to wire with what's called a communicating system. I'm gonna show you how to do that and it's a lot easier than you think. Something else that may be confusing at the condenser is that inside of this, you are gonna have a black and a gray wire. Those are low voltage. They're the wires that could pass behind the board and come up here to this block. Do not put high voltage on those wires. Your high voltage passes through the wall and comes into lugs that are connected directly to the circuit board. Okay, now here is where we wire up these communicating systems and you'll notice there's only four wires. If you were going to wire legacy, you would remove this and this block here would go in its place and here you would have all the conventional hookups. But like I said earlier, this is only for rare occasions. If you're gonna wire a system legacy, there needs to be a good reason for it. Otherwise, stick with a two-stage communicating system. So what you see right here is we've got one, two, R and C. Now the R and C do not come from inside. The system has its own transformer just above the block and it takes its R and C from here. These two wires here actually run down behind the board and come out down here to your normal thermostat connections. You only use two wires. It doesn't matter which two wires you use, so long as it's the same inside as it is outside. Now this communicating setup is only between the condenser and the air handler. The reason for that is this control board here and the control board within the air handler will decide once the thermostat calls for heat, exactly what stage of heat to give you. So there will be no reversing valve, there will be no Y2. It'll all make a little bit more sense when we look at the air handler. So inside at the air handler, we've actually got two blocks that are in use. This block here is going to the thermostat and this block, only these two wires are going to the condenser. Now you'll notice that inside we're not using the R and C terminal. These are here in the event that your condenser did not have a transformer, but since ours does, these don't get used. The big thing here to remember is that whatever color wire you used inside, you need to use outside and vice versa. Up here you wire this as though it is a one heat, one cool. So we've got Y for our contactor, we've got W for our heat kit, G for the fan, C for common, and this black wire is actually the R after it's passed through a float switch, so it's changed colors. It is important to remember to set up your thermostat as though it is a one heat, one cool, even though this is a two heat, two cool. The last thing you need to know is after you've powered the system up, you are gonna to have to either use an app and a Bluetooth setting to set up your heat kit, or you can do it by pressing these buttons here. Either one gets the job done. That is either in the manual or you can call tech support and get walked through on how to do that. And that's gonna do it for the Amana communicating system when we're wiring these things in a non-legacy format. So I hope this video helped you maybe get yourself out of a bind if you were out in the field and a little confused about exactly which one of those two options to take. And be sure and keep an eye out for other training videos that we'll have coming down the road. So until next time, this is Jason with LNF Services, and this has been a how-to video for professionals.